I got this whole outfit from out of Walmart. This little shirt with these short. Well, I let this stick out. Basically, I'm gonna put the stuff in. Yeah, I'll turn on too. It's my own. Okay. Oh, my barbecue sandwich. Mm, mm, mm. My food. I don't know what I'm gonna name her yet. I think I like Zola. Hey, mama girl. Yeah, you mama baby. Evidence. God says, tell her I hear her. But not only do he hear you, he said, tell her I see her. Because watch this, you, you really just want to be seen. God said, tell her I see her. I see you. He see, he see what he made is beautiful and wonderful. Everybody else sees something different, but he said, tell her I see her. Remind her of what I see in her. How I made her, how I created her. What I placed in her. See, you know there's something different about you. You've been knowing there's something different about you a long time. You know there's something different about you. You've always known there's something. People treated you because you was different. Your entire life is changing. Your entire life is shifting. God says, let her know I hear her, but I see. And he's placing people in your life that can see you. Even if you're sitting in the back trying to hide. Because he called out. And just like he called you from there to here, God has called you to influence a generation of people. You hear me? Are you ready for this walk? You sure you're ready for it? Because watch this, you can't turn back, baby. Because the Holy Spirit ain't going to let you turn back. You ready for this? Because your whole life is about, you just, you thought you were somewhere, but you ain't nowhere compared to where God gave ready to take you. Are you ready for this? Because your whole life is about to shift. Where your baby at? Bring that baby up here. He told me to pray for your baby. Hello, you guys, y'all. Don't mind how I look right now. I look a mess. I had a long day. It's like probably about to be eight o'clock at night, y'all. And I just dropped daily and have it off. The baby went with my auntie today, y'all. I'm kid free this weekend. I thought I was gonna be crying and stuff, but I'm actually doing fine right now at the moment. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. Then I'm gonna be all in my feelings and stuff because my baby not with me. This is our first time not being with each other overnight. But I'm doing a weekend vlog, y'all. And my best friend is here right now. Her birthday is tomorrow. But tonight we are making vision boards. Y'all don't. Y'all. I went to field day at Page School. My sibling's school today, y'all. And it was hot and rainy. And my hair didn't just. It didn't mess all back up. But don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. Man, yeah, my best friend is downstairs. We're about to head to Walmart real fast to get some stuff to make our vision boards. And yeah, y'all. Oh my God, I'm kid free. I don't even know how to feel. Like, oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. I will see y'all once we get in the car or whenever we get to Walmart. And I hope you guys enjoy this video yeah me and my best friend we walking in walmart we spent like 
Team Mina's in the car trying to figure out what go with tacos. <laughs> but we about to get some corn and some smokies and we're going to figure everything else out once we get up in here. So, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we can agree on some. <laughs> if not, we're just going to have a whole lot of meat match food. And we got to okay. and we got to get the stuff to make our visual board. You can write that down. Yeah. You want to push or you want me to push? We gotta get this stuff to make our vision board. So, yeah, y'all. <laughs> Boards. How much that? 98. Yeah, 98. You know it's the 98. What is right now? It's so 98. I was fine. I don't know. It's so unorganized. Right? Oh, wait, look. Look at these. You might know. You don't. Look at these. What you, you want to say? Yeah, you might know. Oh, and then we can get an already section on. Okay, yeah, let's see that. Means. So we can do science project board, science project board. All right, y'all. Some cute stuff to go on. This oh, all right. I was just about to say, we already on the craft aisle. But it was more stuff on this aisle yeah. down there. We about to go look for some stuff. Yeah. We about to get some um stuff to decorate the board. Child, we're gonna make it fit. <laughs> what about scissors? Those would be good. Ding. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't like no blue. They'll be okay. Girl. Scissors. <laughs> we'll say when to get two of these. Yeah. <laughs> you got glue? Oh, Lord. Oh, you want to get a glue stick? Get just get a bowl. They the music has stopped, but now they're trying to start playing it back. So I'm gonna get as much footage as I can. Oh, look, it's full of stickers. <laughs> That's what you want to do? Yeah, you show sure? you being hesitant. <laughs> Dude. I be looking at stuff like this, like the little boxes and just. I wish they had two. We could have painted they had one with heart shapes. Decided to um, we just gonna paint. Uh -oh. We just gonna paint tonight. <laughs> Shoot. We decided we just gonna paint canvases tonight, and yeah, we are gonna do the vision boards another day because we gotta get like magazines and stuff to get pictures out so we just got different paints and stuff canvases we put these things right here back oh yeah what about the markers yeah we can put the markers in so yeah y'all we just gonna be doing paintings instead of the visual boards and maybe get a game oh yeah let's go get a board game or something what are they being on Back this way. Where the toys at? Yep. Okay. About to get a board game, y'all. They go Candyland. I used to love life. They got Super Mario life now, y'all. I ain't never been a fan of Monopoly. You wanna play here? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. I just seen it. Oh, you know, you could do that on your phone now. I've seen it on TikTok. Excuse me. Go ahead. Roomy Cube. I ain't never played that. Tell me about Tell me. That's a good game. Yeah. Yeah. This is everything we have got so far. We got some shrimp. Some more ground beef, some little smoky, some more tacos, corn on the car, all our stuff, oh, the salsa stuff. And we're gonna attempt to make these biscuits. I tried these one time and they was disgusting. But all of that, and then we got this game right here. It looks like it's gonna be fun. Tell me without telling me. If you want to, Tika, get some lettuce. I ain't gonna use no lettuce anyway. <laughs> oh, fruit. A fruit salad. 
I forgot all about that. I wanted to make one, but we can get this, I guess. You eat pineapples? Pineapples. Watermelon. Strawberry. Bananas. Oh, excuse me. Watermelon don't go in the fruit sand. Why not? This ain't on. I don't know. Wait, well, I still want what you call it. Wait, we, you about to mix fruit together and put honey all over it? Yeah, like they did on the TikTok video and squeeze the lime on. This girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Patika's talking about. The video I sent you, I said this. When you sent me a video, and you said yes. Let me go see. Yes, go see. I have sent you that. I thought that's what we were talking about all in our fruit salad. Fruit salad. Don't be, don't be. Yeah, right here. Like something like this. What you sent me that on? TikTok. But this I ain't even one. open it yet. But no, you had replied to one that I had sent. That's like it. Yeah. I said, this makes something like this. So you say, yes. No, I don't remember that. <laughs> we, can, we can attempt then. This girl said, honey on a fruit salad. Yeah, watermelon don't go. I learned something new about Patika every time we together. <laughs> so now we gotta go get some honey. And what that? Seeds. I was just about to ask what the seasoning was. So what other okay, fruit we wait. need? So like strawberry. Pineapple, mango, berry. You can figure your food if you want to eat it. Mango. You probably gonna need more of these. Uh-huh. Yeah, we about to go in. We about to go and check out now, y'all. I hope self check out. I don't think they open. It might be. Some of them red, some of them green, so. And then we gotta go get some ca is that a Kaya. Uh oh, sorry. Gotta go get Zedekiah because he is crying for his madre. So. Look at these. Uh, like you don't like cookies? <laughs> well, ain't no point to get them then. <laughs> Alright, y'all. <laughs> My diabetes self don't need no cookies. Cause I eat them whole thing by myself. <laughs> They go in open petite. About to hurry up and get it. Y'all, it is the next morning, and before I start this video, I'm about to do a little prank. Not even no prank. I'm about to bother my cousin and paid. So I got some water right here. It's nine o'clock in the morning, and they still sleep. No, we don't do we don't do that. So I'm about to pour water on their ass. We made it to the second trimester and I had the abruption and lost the baby. 
And then it got worse. Jonathan was diagnosed with malignant mesothelioma. And before he did chemo, he froze his sperm. When Jonathan oh, passed away, I couldn't imagine being a parent. <laughs> Y'all, I was expecting them to cuss me out of something. But they ain't do nothing. They ain't do nothing but look crazy. Let me see how I feel outside. Oh, it feel good outside. But it's still real, real ugly out here for real. It was raining all yesterday. But y'all, pay something I've had off real fast. Y'all, let me go grab the baby real fast. Let me go grab the baby. Y'all, this little boy did not. <laughs> no, don't you say nothing. You smiling. You think it's funny. You think it's funny. <laughs> you about to get your first butt cut. This boy taking me for a joke. He's taking me for a joke. So, we was up by 12, 12 o'clock this morning. Cause I had to go. Well, y'all already know I had to go get Zedekiah. And it was 40, 46 minutes away from the house. And as soon as he got in the car, he just started sucking, sucking, sucking. And we did not cook last night. I went in the room. My daddy had came down here, came over last night. So me and Patika had went up in the room and Patika fell asleep. And I, I just said, I came down here, me and my cousin put up the grocery and stuff. Y'all see it in the background. So we put the stuff in the refrigerator and stuff. I went back up and I went to sleep. We didn't paint, we didn't do nothing. So I'm about to go and take the baby to his grandmother. About to go take him to his grandmother, y'all, and then we gonna officially get our day started. I already woke up, brush my teeth, wash my face and stuff, but I ain't take no shower yet. I probably gonna take one. I'm gonna take one when I get back, so I can just hurry up and go take him to his grandma real fast. But yeah, y'all. I'll see y'all once we get back. Up. Just look at you, Dr. the Kaya. You the cuties. Yeah. If y'all got, oh y'all, I even tried the um, I tried the the tummy tippy bottle, and he did not like that bottle at all. He did not like it at all. Would not suck it. So if y'all got any suggestions of any bottles that y'all give y'all breastfed babies that they like, please give me some suggestions, y'all. Cause the car is not gonna be interrupting my weekends like this. Just little kiki. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all once I get back home. Back home now, y'all. The baby is with his grandmother. I am about to um take me a shower and stuff because I definitely need to take me a shower. I need to clean up a little bit too because my bathroom is a disaster i got all my stuff out but y'all this weekend really not going as man i thought my best friend was on doing some little boyfriend so i was planning on doing all this other stuff but we're going to get our nails and stuff done together now and we're about to cook this stuff the stuff we was about to cook last night and i think i'm gonna get the dog the kids a dog this weekend i don't know yet don't hold me on that i've been planning on it so I might, I might not, but it is now 11 o'clock and I'm about to take me a shower. I love y'all so much, like, I'm so happy that, I know I've been doing a lot of, um, recent book reviews and just talking about God and the Bible a lot, and I'm so happy that y'all are just, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy that we understand each other and that we are able to just communicate in the comments without, like, we just drama free. Like, I just, especially when we go live, it's, I feel like it just be a therapy session for all of us. Like, we just talk about so much. And I just love the way that we engage with each other. And we be talking about real life stuff. And I love that about 
just our community on my channel. I'm just reading some of our comments and stuff. Hopefully, I'm gonna go. Hopefully, I go live today, probably tomorrow. Oh, and this is what else I have to say. So tomorrow, which is Sunday, um, I'm going to church. Probably gonna go get some food and stuff. And then I got two hair appointments tomorrow. I really haven't been taking hair clients like that because I don't. I don't want everybody to know I'm saying it. I really don't. And I really. I don't know. I don't want to get into a shop. And then it just, I stopped not wanting to do it no more. So, yeah, I got two um, people, two kids that I'm doing tomorrow. I'm doing some starter locks and also a retwist on the little boy hair that I started. And I'm going to their house. And I also got, um, I got an appointment next week. <laughs> and he reserved his spot. See, I was just joking. I said, you can give me $100 to reserve your spot. And he, he gave me the $100. So, I got to do his hair next week. And, yeah, I'm excited now. But I really, I was like, I don't know if I want to do it tonight. But I'm excited now. But, yeah, y'all, I'm about to get dressed. And we about to cook and stuff. And, y'all yeah, see what we do. But, yeah. So, yeah, what I got on real fast. I was going to wear this to church tomorrow, but I'm going to have to get some else because I ain't had no more clothes. I'm not sure what I'm wearing. Y'all know I've been big on what I've been wearing lately. I'm just trying to just... Hold up. So, I ain't been wanting to show that much skin. I could not wear some shorts one day. Oh, shit. This is what I got on. This little shirt from Idol. I got this whole outfit from out of Walmart. This little shirt with these shorts. And then I'm just putting my own flip flops on because we're going to get our toes done and stuff. So, yeah, but that's what I'm wearing, y'all. I really do need to um order me some clothes and just throw away all my old clothes because I really, I just can't get into it no more. But yeah, y'all. We are about to start cooking. So we're about to get started on cooking the food. I already got the um pot of water for the the corn already ready. And we're gonna be cooking, we're gonna be using the taco kit. The taco kit to make tacos. I ain't ever used it yet. I just watched my mama um Watch my mama cook these for us when we was young because I'm a Tico taco fan. I ain't really a taco fan. So, yeah. We about to get this water on the stove so we can get the corn started. Uh oh I got it on six. I'm waiting till the water start boiling. You put it on six to get your water boiling. Let's turn it over just a little bit, okay? I'll put it on eight. Okay. And you know that cabbage. Let's lay it. I'm gonna be using some of those garlic and herb butter on the um corn. You want to crack the dough? Just in case. Uh uh, you don't gotta crack the dough. It'll okay. be scraped. And I'm gonna put this on the corn. Y'all, my cousin made some corn one day, and it had some white stuff on it. And some red stuff, but I don't know what it was. But she just told me to put garlic and herb butter in the water and then seasoning and stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah. Y'all know what? I'm going to make dill and I'm going to make tacos. You got enough bread on me? Uh-huh. I feel like this is going to be a lot for the tacos. Yeah. Plus this. So, y'all going to make some dill too. I'm going to show y'all an easy way to make some good old dill. You gonna put the meat in it too, or just gonna be by uh -huh. itself? That's gonna be by itself. Okay. Let me hear y'all say, uh oh. Uh oh. I like oh, I don't remember. <laughs> no, I see that I replied, but I just don't remember it. You just be replying. But we put the meat up in there, y'all. Let me get some witchy call it. Did I even turn the stove? Oh, yeah, I did. Got a little spatula. We got the spatula. 
get some seasoning and season those. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put a seasoning stuff. I'm not gonna put that much because they come with those Taco Bell taco seasoning meat. What are you be putting on your taco meat? I don't, I don't cook those. Oh. <laughs> I just remember my mama making it. I'm gonna put seasoning salt. What y'all put on y'all? Mm. Garlic powder, onion powder, we can taco put all that. seasoning, and then like seasoning junk, like you just said. Seasoning salt. Oh, so we gonna brown the meat first. Mm -hmm. Then use that. One of these owls don't smell too good. Uh-uh, that's why I asked you when we open the door. But it should be okay. Here you go, Tika. So you're supposed to season your meat. Like, you can season your meat while it's raw like this. Yeah! Oh. That's what I do! Yeah. <laughs> I'll be waiting until it's cool. I don't know. Like I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. That's how I cook. I cook all my meat like, what, my hamburger? Yeah, I know like chicken is so cool to season, but I don't know. What kind of pepper pepper? Tell me how y'all cook y'all meat. <laughs> when y'all make tacos, do y'all do the seasoning while the meat cooking or do y'all wait till it's done? Right. And is it a difference or oh, y'all know I'm a kind of amateur with this cooking stuff. And y'all was getting on me about how I cook my rice around. And y'all gotta understand that people like their food to be everybody yeah. don't eat the same. Yeah. I like my rice around how I like my rice around. Y'all talking <laughs> about brown it. I don't want it brown. <laughs> It was, wait, you talking about my rice, rice pilaf? Yeah, yeah. you trying to yeah, tell me how to cook my rice. That's how I like it, so that's how I'm going to cook it. <laughs> okay, girl. Everybody different. That would get on me about that rice. Let me do something. I'm about to go ahead and put some, um, put some butter up in this corner. In the water? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put the whole stick. I'm gonna put the whole stick. What is that? Garlic and herb butter. Oh. This right here is good on baked chicken too, y'all. I ain't happy when I cooked my baked chicken last time, but it is so good. Oh, your baked chicken is so good. <laughs> spicy. Thank you, thank you. Okay, think about this. Get this meat cooking. Got the meat right there. Go ahead and add my seasonings real fast. Onion powder. Garlic powder. I just feel like onion powder and garlic powder go on, go on everything. <laughs> seasoning salt. Then we're gonna let that cook to the ground. I'm gonna give you something to Y'all, the corn is boiling. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. I'm about to That's put the so top good. on it. How long it take corn to cook? I don't know. I just watch it to see when it gets <laughs> off. Let me hear you say, uh oh. Are we cooking the smokies? Yeah, we cooking the smokies. What is it? 
Tito's Queso. Don't ask no questions. Just do it. And then come back and let me know how it tastes. I'm going to turn it out. Huh? You want to turn something out? Uh-huh. Then I'm using this one. Alright, y'all. This um, taco meat is done. So I should, oh yeah, let me, let's watch how they make this on y'all. <laughs> oh, we yeah. got the meat, and then we got some, the queso dip, and then we just got the regular one, the sauce of coin queso. Y'all, it is so, so good. Like I said, don't ask no questions, just make it, and then come back and let you me know how it tastes. You turn it down. What, turn what down? Nah, this is already done, basically. I'm gonna put the stuff in. Yeah, I turn on too. That's my own one. That's the bathroom. I'm tripping today. <laughs> Y'all, it is it so don't look good. It is. Y'all can see it. This y'all's ain't gonna be on this one. Oh. <laughs> it is so good, y'all. Stove is a mess. All right, yeah, I'm about to put the shrimp up in. Do what you call them real fast. This ain't gonna take nothing but two minutes. Let me put this up. I finally went and bought some knives. He got a small right Oh, right. Right. <laughs> oh, somebody your shower earlier. It is so fancy. I never seen a square shower head. Square? Yeah, your shower head. Oh! Girl, <laughs> I got it off Amazon. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I got it off Amazon. Oh, Lord, you sounding it. Well, I guess we don't need the spray because we got the juice and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I'm about to screen up a little you bit. You think these gonna fit too? I wish I could cook them separate. I'm gonna put some in. Yeah, we can make it work. Y'all about to screen up real fast and then I'm gonna come back on here. Y'all, the shrimp cooking, the smokies, and Tika is cutting up the lettuce and stuff. I'm cooking for real. <laughs> Here go the taco meat back there, the corn. Oh, yeah. yeah, we almost done, y'all. It's <laughs> Them smokies look good, y'all. Especially with the barbecue. The shrimp, the shrimp, these shrimp basically done. You just gotta heat shrimp up. I'm about to taste one. Look like that good. Get back up. Yeah. Oh, yo, can I do this? Yeah. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> I hope your tongue ain't here to go. Your tongue about to have that little feeling on it. I'm trying to get my toes. Turn it down. Okay, it's popping. Eh? Tika about to burn her still. It good. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to the middle because it tastes like this. What it tastes like? I don't know. Oh, they look like that. Yeah. When I, whenever I have, I had them before the baby shower. And my mama, I ain't ever cooked these before. This jump about to be popping like crazy. Turn it down for these. Which one is it? The front. I think this is done. Because mm -hmm. I don't want that barbecue to burn. All right, I'm about to put Doritos on the plate. It's good with blue Doritos, too, y'all. I'm doing one bag. I ain't going to be... Like, I'm going to eat tacos, too, and I don't want to eat too many carbs. So, I'm going to just... I'm going to do these right here. I really got to update my phone. People send me emojis, and I see... Can't see you. Question marks. <laughs> I'm going to question marks. All right, y'all. I'm about to put some dip on my chips. That girl got too much dip on her chips. <laughs> I don't know where I want to. What are um, the soft shells? Oh, they in there? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Turn it down so it won't burn. Thank y'all. Oh my god, shrimp on I think now shrimp, I think shrimp will be good on this right here. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put some shrimp on. Tico was telling me to make more shrimp. You gonna need to watch this to produce me. Oh my god. Alright y'all, I'm about to make it two beef tacos. I'm about to take this off the stove. And I'm just breaking all the shells. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright y'all, got two tacos. I'm about to put some meat in it. Alright y'all, so I got my meat in my chicken. Alright, I'm about to put my salsa. Y'all, do y'all eat the salsa on y'all tacos? I just, I ain't got the salsa, I don't want it. Okay, my sauce. And then lettuce and sour cream. And I'm just doing meat and cheese. So you can loan her subs up. I mean, her little um, tacos up. Yeah, they a little boring. She <laughs> meat, and on meat and cheese. That's it. And I'm about to put salsa on the oil one. That do sound kind of good. 
Get you should took your so. pictures first. I forgot about taking pictures. Well, I can take them later and get out of the store. You this meal is so good. Sour cream. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. But right now, I look like y'all kind of used to my burps. Okay. Tika's tacos are so good. You put sour cream on yours, right? Oh, no. I'm putting no sour cream. You don't put sour cream. What's up, Nate? Did I put, I ain't even put no cheese on it. I'm sure. Baby, I'll wake up. Now I'm about to fix my shrimp taco. Lord, I have room in the oh, you doing a separate one with shrimp taco? Go to food, y'all. Corn. You go Tika's. My corn right there. Now go Tika's food. I think I already showed y'all. Yeah, we got some fruit and stuff. I'm ready to eat. Uh, Tika can make the fruit salad if she wants to. But I'm about to eat those first. Eat okay. I'm about to do a little taste test on these um, chips for y'all since I added the shrimp to it. Let y'all see what it tastes like. Meat is seasoned so good. Oh my god. Yeah, but make out some of these. <laughs> now I'm about to taste. I'm about to taste the taco with the salsa on it. She's gonna put me on or something. <laughs> yeah, I really get some good. sour cream with lady. <laughs> I don't know about all this. <laughs> That's good. Oh, smoke it. I knew I was missing something. Okay, y'all. So we just got to the nail salon, and Tika about to get her toes done. I'm about to get all um, my nails and toes done. I don't know how I want my nails yet. I just I'm gonna be looking while I get my toes done. I've been trying to find something, but I'm probably gonna give them similar to how I got them last time. But yeah, we at the nail salon. And we about to get ready to walk in. I'm about to leave the car on. <laughs> Y'all yeah. about to watch me get my nails and toes done now and then I will start back talking to y'all when I leave here. Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. Understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold her pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait upon the giver He'll deliver like a dealer Take her <laughs> Alright y'all, so these are Zay's toes. Ain't they so cute? And my and nails. nails. 
period. It's so cute. Oh. <laughs> he got Tika toes, y'all. Yeah, we got similar colors. Yep. <laughs> Isn't the mine's not the same? Just yours about. a little lighter than mine. No, yours lighter. Mine mine's darker. Lighter. I think yours look like a little neon <laughs> or something. Y'all, that was so fun and they were so nice up in the air. Oh Lord. Hello. Y'all thought I lost my key. Y'all, they were so nice up in there. Okay. <laughs> my nails. My nails. And my toes. We kind of matching, y'all. Somewhere. <laughs> y'all, that man was doing my toes so, massaging my foot so good, like. I was just looking at him like, you must, you must want me or something. <laughs> and he did have a little flirty, flirty, flirt going on. <laughs> what I was about to say, uh, T want to try sushi again. Y'all, we didn't try these sushi one time. I know sushi. No, you ain't, we ain't getting the right ones, y'all. If y'all like sushi like I do, y'all know it's different ones and stuff. And that one was just like the basic California roll with cream cheese in it. I barely like that one myself, so. <laughs> but she don't like these, y'all. So we about to, you want to go get that first or you want to? Yeah, we can go there first. So we about to go get some sushi, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, look at these Starbucks cups. Which one you like particular? I like the pink one. You don't like that? Nah, this plain. <laughs> Not you calling something plain. <laughs> well, this thing, this thing. I'm about to get I this like one, y'all. I like that. It look like a diamond at the top. That's how many different type of ones right. are these. Now, I like these. I like these. Oh, this is the same. But well, one is... And that's what we oh no, you ain't had that. Let me show you what we had. That's what we had last time. You ain't like that. Yeah. These good too. And then she cool. Alright, y'all, we about to get these things a taste. <laughs> yeah, try this sushi. This is what it look like. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I'm gonna post a thumbnail. Time. You wanna do one for you? Oh, I look in my camera. Oh. Okay, let's look at yours and we look at mine. Okay. Look okay, at mine. <laughs> Tika got me out here trying sushi again. She gonna love it. I feel like I got one that's a little too dramatic for her. She should like it. All that soy sauce. No, you ain't talking all that soy sauce you put on that one. Mm. That one is that big. Yeah, get yours. It even got the grass on here, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this thing is huge. Are you ready? I just put the whole thing in my mouth. Yep. One, two, three. Spoon. Oh. Okay. I 
My picky best friend don't like it. <laughs> Lord, it took me a long time to swallow that. <laughs> I, I just, it's not bad, but it ain't something that I eat like Pasika love. I don't look. That's just something I won't eat. I eat it on force to eat it. Like the day. I ain't forced <laughs> you. <laughs> oh my God. But that ain't something that I eat as a snack. And Pasika killing it. Mm hmm. I love it, y'all. How you say? I'm disappointed in you. No, I'm disappointed in that sushi. <laughs> that was so good. Oh, I'm talking about so good. This was so good. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good out here, y'all. Mm -hmm. You want to sit out here? We should have bought our paint school. <gasps> Oh, we should go to the park or something. Yeah. It is nice outside. The sun that came out ain't too hot or nothing. Want to go to the park? I'm gonna show you the pool or something. Did you um? Have y'all ever walked? You know the park. And you know how when for prom day, you know how we was walking that way. Yeah. And then it's like that little turn off. That trail. <laughs> yeah. You ever walked by there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was scared. Really? Girl. What's back there? I seen like a little house. It's just a trail and it's like a little bridge and stuff you go over. And if you take the kids, it's a little story that you read along the way. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're gonna definitely have to go. There be a lot of people back there. Walking and stuff. Can't have you scared I went back there by myself. Yeah, I'm probably getting Jalen happy. I was talking junk about Patika sending me shit zoos and my mom was sending me little shit zoos, but I think I'm about to get the one. But it's not the shit zoo, it's a Yorkie. Hopefully she still got it, y'all. Mm, I had a Yorkie mixed with a mini schnauzer. Her name was Queenie, she died. Queenie? Mm -hmm. We had a dog named Queenie. Yeah, Queenie got bit by a snake. <gasps> I think Queen got bit by a snake. Let me ask my mama how Queen died. My mama was so sad when Queenie died. It was like a human died. That was so baby. Yeah, I'm about to stop recording though. Mom, how Queen camera. died? But we get to where we go. She got bit by a snake. Oh my God. Patika had a dog named Queen and he got bit by a snake and died. And her name was Queen. Queenie. Queenie. And R was my queen. That is so crazy. But all right, mom. Not us connecting over the dogs. Boy, I got a burp. I hope it'll be too much. Uh. <laughs> no, where I'm gonna pay Quit to time, get some and eat all this sushi. Well, ask her what type of stuff she got, cause I don't want to go buy no lot of stuff. I got a bird too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My mom thought about, oh God, bye. <laughs> it ain't gonna go. <laughs> Y'all, we about to go to the park and paint. I mean, that's good. I'm a little bit. I know, right? You want another sushi? Nope. <laughs> we'll see y'all once we go to the park. Oh yeah, we got the game too. <laughs> the we just call oh tell me without telling me. Tell me you have had a. Oh okay. I we gonna do the painting first, but that game look fun. I got all these different colors. I'm about to make a TikTok. <laughs> Thank you, lonely now. Waiting till tonight, girl. We're gonna do two or just one? Two and do two. I can't go ahead again. Okay. If you think you're lonely now. Waiting till tonight, girl. <laughs> Cold 
Y'all, it's official. I'm getting the kids a dog tomorrow. And his name is Blaze. Y'all know I don't like that because we were supposed to name my dog a Z name. Like oh, like us. But it'll be okay. Yeah, he ain't no puppy puppy dog. But if that's what his family was calling him then, I guess so. If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight, girl. Alright, my painting is done. What this? <laughs> I like that. The Z4. Because four, y'all. Yep. Four Z's. Tika just left the house and now I'm on the way to um go to the car wash real fast because y'all my car is a mess and then I'm going to Walmart so that I can get some stuff for you y'all will see <laughs> and then I'm going to pick up my son and I really want some Popeyes so I gotta stop at Popeyes y'all I got to it's just nothing like Popeye's fried chicken. Like, <laughs> make you want to slap your mama. I'm telling you, like, really make you want to slap your mama for real. But yeah, y'all. I'm about to end the video until I get. I'm going to end this clip until we get to Walmart. All right, y'all. So we are going in pet supplies to get my puppy some food and. Whatever little goodies I see. What y'all whispering about? You get you to buy a puppy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't see no puppy. I'm getting a Yorkie tomorrow. Yeah. Okay? Yep. I'm gonna yeah. See, I'm about to find him some little doggy food. And I'm gonna get soft food. My baby ain't eat no hard, no hard dog food. <laughs> I'm just playing, but I'm about to get him some um soft dog food real fast. Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty end up to the sky. And I'm a waiter from the giver to deliver like a dealer. trying the new ghost pepper wings they got me Paige and my cousin chain about to try their new ghost pepper wings i did not know they had these they probably been out to be honest 
Mm. They look hot. Mm. So we got the try wing. You got mine. Oh. Yeah, I got you. Wait, 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 you gotta try one of them. That tastes like the regular ones to me. They ain't hot. They ain't right. smoking. Damn. Hold on. I'm scared. Y'all, that tastes just like the regular yeah. one. It's a little, mm -hmm. little bit spicy. It ain't it's what I thought it was gonna be. Damn, it's hot. This ain't not hot. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we done been home for about probably an hour now. I think it's like probably like ten. I don't think it's ten something. Let me see the time of the year. I'm so sleepy, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh, it is. Dang, it's ten thirty. We've been home for like an hour now, y'all. Paige and Chain is putting together the baby little playmate. Is that okay? You're laying right there. And I'm about to wash dishes and stuff and just clean the house and prepare for tomorrow. Prepare for church and all that. Prepare to do hair and prepare for the puppy to come home. Prepare for the kids to come. I just got a lot I gotta do, y'all. I'm tired. So tired. I gotta watch his Kai up tonight because he's not gonna be able to take no bath in the morning. I don't, he might be able to because he don't get cold like that no more. I don't know. I'll probably watch his other Kai up tomorrow night. But yeah, y'all. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. So, y'all can watch me watch me wash dishes, I guess. Let go. Let go. No time for rising energy. More life and it's more money in my life today. Cause I'm outside today. Can't decide, oh. Whether it's Danny and nice. Can't decide, oh. Whether the we gon' cool my mind. No stress, no enemy. That boy used to be a friend of me. Exo, what she sent to me. Say me can't let them boy get to me. I'm in the mood. I'm in the bigger mood High life, get that way Tough life, far away from you I wanna see the view Watch the world, I wanna be on beach Side of Kanku Tell me what you wanna do Yeah. Anyway, me go on all the gang room Been long since I reached back home Remember days you was on the back, bro Till the love pisses out, you can go Yes, I know I just pick up my back and go I need to roll Can't do what you say in your mates Think twice before you play me Say J yeah, when you've been late Lately you've been acting crazy Shady, I can tell who you shady Hate me but still rape me Maybe I must be, maybe or maybe I must be crazy Alright, so it's like you live in some now house completely clean and stuff and me and the baby about to take us a quick little shower i'm about to put him on the breast and we just about to go to sleep i don't even feel like taking my clothes out right now so yeah y'all i'm gonna end the video right here for tonight and i will see you guys in the morning love y'all morning y'all it is now sunday it is 9 06 i got up at 8 45 i didn't have to get up church started at 10 and the church is like 15 minutes away from me so i ain't have to get up early but my body is just like my body just gets up early on its own now so yeah 
and I did end up getting out our clothes last night. I had did one of my little five minute Bible stores last night. And, whew, man, so the Kaya had took a, a bath. It was enough for like 10 minutes. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time I turn on this camera, he just be smiling. So I just got done brushing my teeth. Y'all, this is my third third um Sunday in a row making it to church. And I'm so happy and I'm so proud that I am just finally making it to church. Like I'm so happy about that. I'm happy that God be giving me the scrum to wake up despite what time I go to sleep. Just everything. I'm just I'm so proud of myself. I'm so thankful. But I just got done brushing my teeth, y'all. Um, I washed my dang, I should have did this first, but I washed my face with no water. So I also use my eczema pads. This stuff is amazing, y'all. It is amazing. I'm trying to hurry up now because I don't want to be late. I can't wake up the baby to feed him, but he is not that cold, so <laughs> okay y'all i've been using this on my face right here for my marks and stuff especially under my chin like i just i don't know why i've been getting bumps down there and now that i look at it it's been working i've been using it for like a a week I never, it's working y'all it's working a little bit I'm so happy I got shorties. I got real shorties. I ain't never got my nails this short. Okay. And my mouthwash page must have came here and got my mouthwash. It's okay. Let me go get it. This is the mouthwash that I use, y'all. It is amazing, I'm telling you. Should have just let the girl. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna be a little bit late. We gotta hurry up. I should have let my wake up at um eight forty five when the little one came. So I gotta slit out this hell. I need to take it off and wash it and stuff. Thank you. Chai don't need none. Fast, and I still gotta get the baby dress. Let me put my shirt on first. A little black t shirt. Black t shirt and these pants. I think, hope y'all seen it. So, I'm about to do my loops, finish my loops. Page again, Zedekiah Trace.
All right, y'all. I'll see y'all once I get to church now. I'm gonna record some little clips for y'all. And yeah, see y'all when I get to church. Some of us get up and make the same choice that we make every day. I made a choice this morning. Y'all wanna hear my choice this morning? Uh, Sharon, I made a choice this morning that I was not gonna come to the gathering the same way I normally come. So I made a choice to go a different direction. Because I made a choice to go a different direction, I ran across some people this morning. I actually passed by the people. I see they had bags, they was sitting at a table outside of a restaurant, they were sleeping on the table. So I passed right by. I got halfway down the road and I heard God say love. So guess what I did? I turned my behind right on back around. <laughs> right? Because now I had to make a choice to love them and I didn't need their opinion. And I didn't need their input. Then I turned right around and I came back and I had a conversation with them. Somebody say love. love. See, when you start talking and teaching something, God will challenge you with it. I'm going to say that again. I'm going to come on this side because they're looking at me crazy over there. Whenever God teaches you something or tells you something, he's trying to get something, he'll, he'll try you with it. So, I pass right by the people. Like some of y'all do. Oh, they don't need nothing. They probably got a car park right over there. Y'all know how y'all do. We all see these people. Uh, and, and he said, here's what he said, Joe. He said, he said, we entertain angels on the way. I could have kept going, but I turned around. And I went over there, and I had a conversation with the people, and I'm trying to figure out because they got all their bags with them, and, you know, me, me having a 20-year background of investigating, I'm, investig I'm in investigation mode now, right? But the first thing I did was I came with love. And so what I did before I got there, Joe, I went by the ATM, I made a choice to sow a seed them because I know they needed it. It's the first thing I did. Because what I wanted to do, Sister Foster, is first show them that I love you. I wasn't going in there to watch this, to throw a Bible at them, slap them side of the head with a Bible. I made a choice, Joe, to show love first. And I'm glad I did that because the next statement they gave me could have threw me off. Watch this. Because watch this. If you got a reason on why you love somebody, the moment they give you a reason not to love, you'll walk away. Especially if they're doing something you don't agree with. So you'll make a decision to walk away because they just gave you a reason to walk away. That's why you got to, watch this, you have to love a condition, make a choice to love people without their input and regardless of where they are in life or the life they're living. I made a choice. So now, I get in a conversation and I said, is that your Y'all mom and daughter? They said, no, that's my wife. These are two females. She said, that's my wife. I thought that was wrong. Oh, y'all, see, 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 some of y'all are religious folks. Some of y'all say, say, five people, the Holy Ghost folks. You what? She said, that's why we got kicked out of my house because our family don't like our lifestyle. Well, I don't like your lifestyle either, but I'm here to show you some love right now, and I can't deal with that right now. Right now, I need to show you love because now I have to create an environment where I can't talk to you. But I can't talk to you about it until I first come to you with love. Because watch this, God loves you here regardless of the condition that you're in and the life that you're living because he said there is nothing that can separate my love from you. So God made a choice to love you regardless of your lifestyle. Right. Who am I to say I love God and not love you? Yes. We try to demonize the same people that we've been sent to save. Yes. How are we going to transform somebody like you said something very powerful? You said, watch this, I'm being transformed for somebody else. Yeah. I was transformed for them too. Yeah. I'm continuously, because I ain't there, I'm continuously being transformed for them. Because somebody else religious, they don't walk away from me. I can't believe they're living like that. I can't believe, okay, got it. But see, you live in power too. 
You ain't doing what they doing, but you still living fire. You still full of hate, you still full of envy, you still full of jealousy, you still got some stuff. Ain't no big sin, little sin, it's all sin. And when God looked at it, he looked at everybody, he looked at all of the same. It's still sin. But what did you do to change their lives? You walked away because you was religious. But I made a choice to love somebody this morning, and I didn't need their input. I didn't care about their lifestyle. I didn't care about what they was doing. At, the, at that moment, at that moment, my responsibility was to love. Through love and kindness. I can't win you until you know I love you. I'm going to say that one more time. You can't win somebody until they know you love them. And you can't love them until you love you. Because you ain't qualified to love nobody else until you learn how to love who. So I didn't like seeing them on the street with their bags. So I said, what if I need to do to help y'all? I'm going to show love. Because I got to build a relationship. Some of y'all would have walked away from that. Because y'all. I, I, don't, I don't agree with the lifestyle. But how can I help change and transform somebody if I don't love them first? Right. And I'm tired of people saying, well, I'm not you, I'm not there yet. That's your problem because that's your excuse for not getting there. You have to make a choice to love people regardless of where they are. That is called unconditional love, the same love that God loves your praise behind me. And you know you got some stuff going on in your life. But can we make a choice to love people? Can we make a choice just to love people? You know what our problem is? We want to prove a point. I know you did. So that's your response. And God is looking and saying, okay. So this is how we're do this. But you told me you love me. You told me you love me, but I'm, I'm, I'm checking you out. I'm seeing, I'm seeing how much you don't know me by how you treat other people. You got it. I'm seeing how much you don't know me, but you in church doing the chicken wing. <laughs> but you say you love the Lord, but you look down on other people. Do we really know God's love? Because if we knew God's love, we'd make different choices. If we knew God's love, we would look at people differently. If regardless of the lifestyle they're living, I could look at you and see the best in you. See that what you're living ain't you. And there's some delusion going on. There's some, there's some root causes that's happening that we got to get to. Right? Watch this. But in order for me to get to the root cause, I got to watch this, identify the problem. But before I even delve into the problem, you need to know that I love you. That whatever I do talk to you about, you know it's coming from a place of love. That I'm not being condescending. You, that I'm not trying to tear you down, but I'm here to help you know who Jesus Christ is and his power to transform your life. But we can't get there until we tell people and show people that we love them. Stop telling, stop telling folks you love the Lord. Stop saying songs about you love the Lord, but you treat people wrong. You got to make better choices. Hello. Can I read one thing to you and close out? Go back to do the run real quick. I'm gonna read something. It caught my eye joke when you got there. Now, Joe, I got these glasses. I can see far in <laughs> They call it bipolar. <laughs> I, I look up when I want to see far, and I look down when I want to see far. <laughs> 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 Y'all ain't hanging. Oh, Lord, you said you ain't hanging. <laughs> Jesus, heal my eyes. So, so now I, 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 and I'm done. I promise you. I promise you. I'm, I ain't trying to repreach. I, I just, I just want to bring this out really quick because watch this. This will change your life right here. This is why we're in the condition. This is why the world is in the condition that it's in, right? Now watch this. Joe read down the verse four, right? But when you keep reading and you read uh, 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 verses five, uh, when he says, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength." 
It says these, verse 6 says, these words that I am giving you today are to be your, watch this, heart. Because out of the heart, the mouth does what? In other words, the heart here is synonymous with mind. So he says, let this be a part of your, it says heart, right? But he's really saying mind. Let this be a part of your mind. Watch this, I'm done. He said, repeat them to your children. He said, now I need you to get in your house and I need you to teach your children this so that when they leave your house, they won't depart from this. Yeah. Y'all still with me? He says, talk about them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Hmm. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them be a symbol on your forehead. Write them on the doorpost of your house and on your city gates. In other words, position them so that you'll never forget them. That everywhere you go, you see them. That they get in your heart. Hello. Y'all still with me? But the next part is what got me. This is, this is what happened, Mary. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Because we have to remember God through obedience. Watch this. He says, when the Lord your God brings you into the land he swore to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that he would give you, watch this, a land with a large and beautiful cities that you did not be. Houses full of every good thing you did not feel with them. Hmm. I'm going to give you a house and I'm going to put everything in it. And then put you in it. Sisters that you did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves that you did not plant. And when you eat and are satisfied, be careful not to forget. The problem with us is that God releases stuff in our lives and then we forget He God. What God said to this man, this elder, don't forget what I did to you. I need you to remember what I did. And I need you to make better choices based on what I did. Somebody in here, listen to me. God is getting better to elevate you to another dimension. And God is saying to you, don't you forget where you came from. And don't forget who took you from there to here. He get ready to take somebody from here to there. But God said, now, 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 when God take you from here to there, don't forget that you was one time there. Hear me? We got to stop playing church. God is raising up men and women in this day to be about his business. Watch this. And God, he's looking for somebody to say, God, I'm not just available, but God, I'm usable, and whatever you need me to do, I'm here. Now he can trust you. He can trust to put you in a house you didn't build and fill the house with stuff that you didn't even buy. He can trust you now to put you in a vineyard that you didn't plant, but you can reap the benefits of it. God is wanting to position you into a place where you can reap the benefits of stuff that you didn't even do. That somebody, he was already preparing somebody, watch this, to do something that you would get ready to walk into. That you would get ready to be a benefactor of somebody else's labor. Y'all here. Look at somebody. And we finna do the offer. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Watch this. Look at somebody. And say, where you see me now? Where you see me now? Come on, don't be shy. Look at me. Don't be scared of their faces. <laughs> look at, look at somebody. There's a sister all the way in the back. Look at her too. <laughs> look at somebody and say, say, where you see me now? Where you see me now? Is the lowest. Is the lowest. You'll never see me. You'll never see me. <laughs> Get ready to go in the house you didn't even be. Right. Somebody talk to me this morning. It ain't about stuff. 
but it's about you being obedient because when you're obedient, watch this, and you've written it in your mind and in your heart, God says, I'll lift you to a dimension. It ain't about stuff. We don't preach stuff in here. Stuff comes based upon your obedience to God because he said if you seek the kingdom, the stuff don't come. I'm talking to people that are seeking the kingdom and say, God, I know there's a call on my life. And God, I'm ready to walk in that call. I'm ready to do what you're calling me to do. I'm tired of sitting and I ain't going to wait no more because I'm ready to do what you're calling me to do. And I'm ready to do it today. I am not going to allow the devil to call me, cause me to be distracted, dismayed, or delusional another day in my life. I am ready to walk in everything that God called me to. Devil, you a lie. You got me yesterday. You should have took me out yesterday. You should have laid me out yesterday. But the Lord allowed me to rise another day in a day that I've never seen. And because of that, I'm empowered by His presence. And I'm empowered by His love. And I'm making the choice today and say, God, I give you everything. Who am I talking to you? You been, you, 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 you been sitting and you've been waiting. And God said, what you been waiting on? You got to make a choice today. What you been waiting on? It's time to get up. You have been sitting too long. You have been on the sideline too long. It's time to get up. You still, you, you, watch this. You, 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 you still worried about COVID-19. The government have even forgotten about COVID-19. You, you, you still use that as an excuse. But God says, I wake up. Don't forget. Some of y'all shouldn't be here right now. I just heard him say, tell him, tell him someone should even be here now. But because of my grace and his mercy that you didn't even deserve. He said, remember when you was down and out and you wanted to take your own life. Remember, remember when you were sick and I could have allowed yeah, the sickness to take you out. But my grace and my mercy, I made a choice because I love you with an eternal love. I made a choice to love you with unconditional love. And there is more that is in your life that I need to squeeze out of you. So everything that has happened to you, it must be for me to squeeze out of you what I placed in you. Now you're ready. Stop waiting. Listen, I'm talking to you. See, you should have ran up here. You should have ran. You, you should have ran. You should have ran up here. Stop waiting. Jesus helped me this morning. He said, once you step, he said, then my, watch this, then the Holy Spirit's going to start activating some stuff in you, and your entire life getting ready to change. Yeah. See, see, watch this, you, you ain't going to have no excuse after this. You've been waiting on God, but God said, make a choice today and watch my hand move on your life. So, so, some of y'all are going to be deep in ministry right now. But you your own hold up. You sabotage your own your own ministry because you've been waiting on God. You've been waiting to hear that voice. It's time to get up. <laughs> and God said it ain't coming like that. You've been afraid to step out. But watch this perfect love cast out all fear. God says, if I'm telling you to move, then I'm responsible for giving you the anointing to move in. Who else I'm talking to? You sitting out there and you know, you know, you know. Well, Lord, you know, I've been praying. I've been praying and you still praying. And then the Lord give you a word like this and you still sit down. I know I got my two more. I got my two more. Come on. Come on. Come on. God, I know there's more to life than what I've been experiencing. I know there's more in me. And watch this. Here's the problem. 
Here's when you know it's time to transform. Watch this, Joe, because you get unsettled the way you are. You get so unsettled with where you are, and you get so unsettled with what you've been doing, and you get to a place, you get tired of being where you are, and that's God nudging you and say, it's time to transform. It's time, it's, time, it's time to change the addresses. But you, you still wake up every day to still wake up at the same address when God has been trying to put you in a whole new place in your life and, I, and have you operate in a completely different dimension. But you still wake up and say, you know what, I'm okay. And you know you ain't okay because you're tired of being there. Who am I talking to? You're tired of being there. And God said, I'm trying to move you from, from here to there. talking about it in Deuteronomy chapter 6. Uh, there's some things you got to do, but in order for you to do it, I'm trying to move you from here to there. I'm trying to move you to a place where you can live in houses you didn't build. I'm trying to move you to a place where you can operate in vineyards and, and have vineyards that you didn't plant. I'm trying to move you to a place where you're going to be able to be a benefactor of sister that you didn't even build, where you didn't even dig. I'm trying to get you there, but I need you to watch this. Make up in your mind today. Choose. Man, I've been here too long. Now watch this. God ain't gave you my best. So you've got to be honest with myself. Have I given God my best? Ask yourself, have I given God my best? Or have I always made an excuse of why I didn't do what I knew I needed to do? Somebody help me. All he's asking you for is your best. Because guess what? Because of his grace and mercy, he deserves every bit of you. That's all he's asking you for. Bust this. <laughs> he ain't asking you for no money. Because he owns everything. All he's asking you to do today is to present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy acceptable unto the Lord, which is a reasonable act of worship. This is what you're supposed to do. God took you, he formed you in his image and likeness, and he put you in dirt. Y'all know the teaching. He put you in dirt. In other words, he put you in a body. And says, now I need you to take authority over the earth. But the problem is, many of you have allowed the earth to take authority over you. Because we've gotten so acclimated to pop culture. It was popular. But I heard the elders say, be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you're ready to give God all of you, just lift your hands. Those of you that made a step to come to this altar, let me tell you something. There is no turning back. I mean, he, please hear me. Please hear me. Before I continue, if you want to run back to your seat, you better run now. Hear what I'm telling you. Because I'm telling you, ain't no turning back. Ain't no turning back because what you're telling God today is that I'm presenting my body to you as a living sacrifice. God, I'm giving you everything. Oh God, every day I rise, I'm going to be deliberate and intentional about giving you everything. That means your prayer life is going to go to a whole other dimension. Lord, I need to pray more. God, I got to stop being so distracted in my prayer life. And God, I got to give you my best. Because God, you deserve it. God, I haven't given you all of me. God, I've held back. But today I'm making a decision. Because today you're about to feel the embrace of God like you've never felt it before. Because you made a decision. I said you made a decision to give God everything. Sometimes things happen in our lives and it kind of pushes us into a place that we never wanted to be in. And say, when we get to that place, sometimes it's hard to come out. Come on, I'm talking to you. Sometimes it's hard to come out of that place sometimes. It's hard to get out of that place. 
and you want to serve God with everything. But God, I'm just in this place, God, and, and I'm trying to get out there. I'm, I, every time I seem like I'm going to the door, it's like someone's always pulling me back. Every time I feel like that, oh God, I'm almost there. And I think when I'm, when I'm, when I'm there, God, I, I see the door, God, but I just, for some reason, I can't turn the knob. And sometimes the door is open, but I can't even walk through the threshold. Because I'm so captivated by what happened to me. <laughs> but God, today, I heard you say in Revelation, see, I have set before you a door wide open. And God, today I'm going through that door. And I refuse to be distracted by the enemy another day. Yeah. Today, God, I'm walking through that door. Because there's a calling on my life. <laughs> yeah, you called me to more than this. I, I refuse to be mediocre another day. I, I, I refuse to let procrastination get me another day. I, I, I refuse to be bound, God, by the devil another day. Today I'm coming out. I'm breaking free. Today, today is my day to break free. And I'm walking in everything that you called me to walk in. I'm going to be everything that you called me to be. And God, I'm going to transform some lives, God. Father, I thank you. Today I'm laying my life down and say, use me. Yeah, God, I want to be, God, I'm not just available, but God, I'm usable. Use me. You called me with a great calling. Tell y'all about this crazy y'all. So I'm sitting up in church after I had stopped recording the um video of him preaching and stuff. I'm seeing it and I'm like, God, if you need me to go up there, have him call me out in front of everybody. And I and I said, if you need to just talk to me and just have just yeah, I was like, just call me out in front of everybody. And when he got down to the last person, y'all, he gonna say, Young lady in the back with the baby, I'm gonna need you to come up here. I said, what in the world? I'm like, and when I went up there, I was like, I just told God, if you need to talk to me, have you call me out in front of everybody. Y'all, this man called me out. Y'all, Paige went up there. And like, he just, and he was like, it's um, something different about your family. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm going to insert the live, because my, my church go live, so I'm going to insert it into this video so y'all can just see everything. Like, it was just so crazy. And another thing that I've been praying about a lot is Zedekiah's father's bloodline. And he said, and I'm about to pray over the baby too. And he was just like, any anything, cast, I cast down anything from his father's bloodline and just I'm inserting the video and y'all it was just so crazy it was so it was I'm y'all about to see <laughs> uh, young lady holding the baby back there I need to talk to you can we have a conversation she said what me yeah I'm talking to you <laughs> oh lord Jesus how you doing sir God says, tell her I hear her. But not only do he hear you, he said, tell her I see her. 
Because watch this, you, you really just want to be seen. God said, tell I see him. I see you. He see, he see what he made is beautiful and wonderful. Everybody else sees something different, but he said, tell her I see her. Remind her of what I see in her, how I made her, how I created her, what I placed in her. See, you know there's something different about you. You've been knowing there's something different about you a long time. You know there's something different about you. You've always known there's something. People treated you because you was different. Your entire life is changing. Your entire life is shifting. God says, let her know I hear her, but I see her. And he's placing people in your life that can see you. Even if you're sitting in the back trying to hide. God said, call out. And just like he called you from there to here, God has called you to influence a generation of people. You hear me? Are you ready for this walk? You sure you're ready for it? Because watch this, you can't turn back, baby. Because the Holy Spirit ain't going to let you turn back. You ready for this? Because your whole life is about, you just, you thought you were somewhere, but you ain't nowhere compared to where God gave it to take you. Are you ready for this? Because your whole life is about to shift. Where your baby is? Bring that baby up here. He told me to pray for your baby. There was something which all kind of looking like. How old are you? You 12? How was school this year? It was good? You got good grades? What's your favorite subject? You like English? Okay. You ready for school to be out? You know what? Let me tell you something. There's something about your family. There are some people she's hanging around that don't influence her life. She's smiling, y'all. I see them all around her. But God is getting ready to remove some of your friends because your friends don't have the capacity to be where you are. In other words, there's something special about you in a good way. And God is not going to allow somebody to contaminate what he placed in your life because you're going to influence a lot of people. You hear me? You hear me? There's something, there's something happening with your bloodline. You are shifting your bloodline. God is using you to shift your bloodline. And you're going to be a great influencer over your sister right here. You hear me? Because you know what? She looks up at you. She do, she's watching you. Really, she's watching. When you think she ain't watching, she's watching. You are affecting her directly and indirectly because she watches you all the time. But you got to watch out for her. So what's on her? He's after her. Just can't let him get it. You hear me? Something special. You change. You are the one God chose to shift the blood out. Because he chose some other ones in your family, but they didn't do it. But he chose you. Because you're humble enough to do it. You ready for this? She can say that. You ready for this? And baby boy.
Holy Spirit leader and guide them. Keep them from all hurt, harm, and danger seen and unseen. And Father, we come against every thing in her bloodline that will affect her ability to move in everything that you've declared over her life. God, I'm declaring that she will be very influential in education. I declare that over her life right now in the name of Jesus, that everything she needs educationally will be handed to her without hesitation or reservation. Entire college paid for because of her academia, her grades, Father. I'm declaring 4.0, God. Colleges will seek after her to give her money to come to their institutions because of her academia. Father, I thank you, and I declare that over her life right now. Father, this is the shift of the bloodline. My God, this is the shift of the bloodline. So, Father, I thank you. Use her mightily, God. Use her to do what others dare to do. Use her to do what others have been ashamed to do. And, God, I declare it over her life right now, the anointing to do it, the ministry, God, to do it, God, the anointing, God, to be who you called her to be. Father, I thank you for her life right now. I thank you for her baby, God, that even now, God, that she's made a decision, her baby's bloodline is shifted, that nothing from his father's bloodline Nothing from his father's bloodline. He will not be affected by his father's bloodline. I declare it in the name of Jesus. 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 So Father, we bless you today. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, y'all. I didn't came from church to eight and stuff, and I got so sleepy, y'all. I I was gonna take a nap, but I ended up not taking a nap. I was just so I was just literally talking to myself about what happened in church today. Like I was just talking to myself, talking to Zedekiah about what happened in church today. <laughs> but I am on the way. I'm on the way to my client's house. To start on their hair and I didn't slip my bunny on cause that car you threw up all in my hair and it's time for this wig to come off. <laughs> but I'm on the way to their house, y'all. I don't I'm not sure if I'm gonna record when I'm there or not. But yeah, that's what I'm about to go do now, y'all. And it's 304. Hopefully I'll be done with his hair by three o'clock or at least not three o'clock, at least by six o'clock or seven o'clock. But, because I'm about to do starter locks. So, yeah, y'all. That's what I'm about to go do. Just got finished doing his hair. My clients gave me a nice little tip. <laughs> I'm on the way to pick up another puppy, y'all. But this one is a girl. So, she still got all those boy stuff that I'm going to take back. Because, yeah. But I'm on the way now to go pick up them another puppy and it's 14 minutes away. <sighs> These kids about to be so excited. <laughs> they are about to be so excited. And yeah, I think me and Zayla is going to name her. I forgot what we was going to name our other dog. Probably Zola or something like that because you know, you know that she got to have a Z name. Zola, Ziper. Let me go look at our dog, Zella, or something like that. I'm going to me and Zella going to figure out what we're going to name her. It's going to be Zola. Tell me what y'all like better. Zola, Ziper, or Zella. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all. I will see y'all once we, I go pick up this puppy. And, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna name her yet. I think I like Zola. Hey, mama girl. Yeah, you mama baby. Yeah, I tried to see her on the floor and she is so scared. So I just got her seat in my lap until I get her a car seat because she gonna have to learn how to sit in her car seat 
or she just gonna have to stay at home yes I am talking to you so y'all I will see y'all once I'm going to get the kids so that y'all can see their reaction to our to their new little sister come here white come and have come here yeah. Surprise! <laughs> Abby is so smart. Hold up. Come here, Way. Surprise. Look, you smell a dog. You smell a dog. <laughs> she smell a dog. She smell a dog. I was talking about, um. Turn the oh my bad. Oh. <laughs> Her name is Zola Zayla. You like that? Okay. I thought it was Zola. No, I like Zola. You like her way? Mommy, I got up. Yeah, let him have a That's my teddy bear. She can't have my teddy bear. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, she like Harvey. <laughs> Zayla already knew. <laughs> Tell me why she smell a dog. <laughs> Mommy. Hmm? A dog did that. Get off his pad with your shoe. Get some water, to hide. Huh? She's scared. Mama, go get her. Ah. Yeah, Zayla and Zayla ain't come. I just went and picked them up this morning, Monday morning. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, y'all. They look kind of already new because I've been told her I was planning on getting her a puppy. And then I told her I was going to surprise her this weekend. So I think she already knew. So I'm you ready to eat. So I'm about to end the video right here. I love you guys. And thank you for watching this video. Love y'all.